This is representing year 2022. Nakakapagtaka lang po kung bakit nalampasan pa ng Davao ang City of Manila, ang Makati, ang Quezon City. This is the history of Confidential Fund of Davao City. 2016, it is 144 million. 2019 up to 2022, it is 460 million. The irregularities which have been observed in the utilization of confidential fund in the office of the vice president should be checked as well with respect to the utilization of confidential fund of the Vow City during those times. And uh, this amount is so huge that needs to be uh, investigated uh, rightly. Um, 16 million was spent for the for 11 days for the office of the vice president doon po sa mga safe houses for maintenance. And this is something extraordinary. Hindi naman po siya ganong kasimple that 40 million will be spent on medical and food aid 11 days. Tapos yung supplies, 35 million for 11 days. Purchase of information, 14 million for 11 days. If you were going to compute, 14 million divided mo sa 11, that is 1.2 million for the uh, information that uh, wanted to be uh, purchased by the office of the vice president. And sino yung nag-supply na uh, mga supply na to? Di ba? Yun ang trabaho mo eh. Kakagigilang balitang ito ah. Let's watch the full story. Attorney Camora, yes, the questions sir. are directed to you. We're given to the OVP. Am I correct? We have 125 million for the last quarter of 2022. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. And on the succeeding year, that is 2023, the OVP was allocated also a total confidential fund equivalent to 500 million. Do you confirm? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. And out of the 500 million attorney, how much was utilized and how much was unutilized? Uh, Mr. Chair, for 2023, they, they utilized um, for the first three quarters, which is 125 times three. And uh, the, for the fourth quarter, they did not uh, cash advance the amount. So may naiwan pong 125 million. This is a total, if I'm, I am correct, Attorney Kamora, 500 million. Do you confirm? Um, that is correct, Madam. Thank uh, you. Chair. I ask you, paano po ba natin i-distinguish ang confidential fund from regular fund? Um, ang purpose po ng um, confidential and intelligence funds are for confidential and or intelligence activities. Um, while yung sa regular funds po, it is for the attainment of programs, activities and projects other than confidential fund and or intelligence activities. Ito po yung regular na perang ginagamit ng mga government agencies. And if you will agree with me, attorney, if I would say that when we speak of confidential fund, it has something to do with the national security, peace and order surveillance activities. Am I correct? Uh, that is correct, po, Madam Chair. And when we speak of regular funds, any other funds except something which has to do about security, peace and order? Yes, po, Ms. Ma Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, in terms of procurement, uh, the regular uh, funds must follow the laws on procurement, which is now the RA, RA 9184, as amended po. As to confidential and intelligence funds, uh, to avoid compromising the confidential um, matters, it usually does not undergo uh, procurement. Uh, Can you share with us what is that joint circular? It is the joint circular issued by 
the Commission on Audit, the Department of Budget and Management, the Department of the Interior and Local Government, the Governance Commission for GOCCs, and the Department of National Defense. Kanina, Attorney, you mentioned about Republic Act Number 9184. This is the procurement law as uh, amended, tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. And you would agree with me if I would say, under the procurement law, we also require the parties to execute a contract. Am I correct? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. And all these formalities are not present when we speak about confidential fund, correct? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. That is for the reason that we wish to protect concerns matters concerning national security, peace and order, and surveillance. Tama yes. po ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Kapag po ba tayo magli-liquidate ng confidential fund, anong dokumento ang nire-require natin from the agency? Um, the requirements are, are all uh, indicated po sa, na-mention po kanina, 4.8 of the joint circular. In substance, would you agree with me that what we are requiring, if uh, it is a confidential fund, one is financial plan. Is that correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. Two is the accomplishment report. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. And three is the certification of the head of the agency. Uh, is that yes, correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. Whereas when we speak about the liquidation of regular fund, what requirements do we ask from the agency? There has to be a MOA or a contract if it is a regular fund. Second, there has to be a receipt. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. There has to be an invoice. Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. May I request the Secretary to please flash the first slide. This slide summarizes the distinction between confidential fund and regular fund. In confidential fund, we have the Joint Circular 01, which regulates the same. For regular fund, we have the Procurement Law, otherwise known as RA 9184, as amended. Tinanong po ito ni Honorable Marcoleta. He was saying that the other agencies and even the other LGUs have confidential fund as well. Tama po, Attorney? Uh, tama po, Mr. You remember Chen. that? Yes, Mr. So, bahagi po ng mandate ng LGUs, Local Government Unit, is to promote and maintain peace and order. And this justifies kung bakit mayroong confidential fund ang mga LGUs. Tama po ba, Attorney? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. What is the mandate of the OVP? Um, based on the notes to a financial statement of the R, Annual Audit Report, the OVP as the second highest office in the land committed to the service of the nation, OBP performs executive, ceremonial, and advocacy functions collaborating with stakeholders and organizations in both public and private sectors to develop and promote programs that uplift the lives of the Filipino people. So you confirm that matters concerning peace and order, national security and surveillance is not part of the mandate of the OVP. Do you confirm that? Mr. Chair, yes, based on the mandate provided. Yes. And why do you think the OVP was given confidential fund, considering that it is not part of the mandate to promote peace and order? I think I'm not the uh, right person to answer the question because uh, I think uh, it may course too to the Department of Budget and Management because the, they're the one do, who uh, provided the, the confidential fund in 2022. Nowhere in the law, not even in the Constitution, provide that the OVP has the mandate of promoting and maintaining peace and order conducting surveillance activity, and even matters concerning national security. That is for the record, Mr. Chair. This is representing year 2022. Nakakapagtaka lang po kung bakit nalampasan pa ng Davao ang City of Manila, ang Makati, ang Quezon City. This is the history of Confidential Fund of the Vow City. 2016, 
it is 144 million. 2017, it is 294. 2018, it's 420. 2019, it is 460. 2019 up to 2022, it is 460 million. I observed na ito pong kaluagan na ito ay nagiging dahilan kung bakit ang COA ngayon are issuing the notice of disallowance and even this Congress is prompted to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation. The irregularities which have been observed in the utilization of confidential fund in the office of the Vice President should be checked as well with respect to the utilization of confidential fund of the Vow City during those time. Um, I really do not have the competence because I am not uh, an employee of the OBP. I was only engaged to be the spokesperson at that point. And so I, I was not part of the drafting of such letter and was not part of uh, anything with that letter. Uh, but uh, if there's anything that I can contribute, then I will be willing to do so, Mr. Chair. To, 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 to be clear, the motion was uh, duly approved uh, with respect to 132 areas. Okay po ba? Po ba? Mr. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chair, Attorney again, po my apologies. Uh, but again, I just have to at least state for the record, Your Honors, that uh, the Vice President uh, did, really did not authorize me to represent her or the OBP in this proceeding po. I... I really am here because I was part of the uh, invitees doon po sa DepEd uh, invite na pinadala po. Wala naman po akong masyadong tanong, Mr. Chairman. Medyo nakaka-worry lang po talaga itong uh, 125 million for 11 days. Uh, for the information of everybody, I become, uh, became the mayor of uh, Santa Rosa and uh, yung confidential fund ko is like uh, 7 million per quarter. And uh, it's really hard for me to, uh, uh, to use, you know, to uh, utilize that uh, amount for uh, three months. And uh, this amount is so huge that needs to be uh, investigated uh, rightly. Um, uh, I hope that the, uh, the uh, COA have the liberty to say something on this uh, um, disallowed portion of that 125 million. And uh, that was issued by, uh, by COA, no? yung 73 million. Um, Doon po ba sa purchase of information, lumalabas po dito that 14 million is the uh, purchase of uh, information and uh, this was uh, spent for 11 days. So basically, it is 1.2 million per day for the purchase of information. What do, you, what do you mean by purchase of information? Can you kindly explain to us what is a purchase of information? Based po on the joint circular uh, regarding the guidelines on COA, uh, confidential funds, purchase of information pertains to those information necessary for the formulation and implementation of program activities and projects relevant to the national security and peace and order. The uh, 14 million is not uh, part of the uh, 73 million? It was allowed po in audit, Mr. Chair. Ah, the purchase of information was allowed? Yes, Mr. Chair. The only 14 million for the purchase of information, you allowed it? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. And your basis is what? Uh, there are documentary evidence of payment. What are the documentary evidence that's, that was submitted to you, if you have the liberty to say it to us? Uh, Mr. Chair, since it's already on the merits of the case, since it's already touching on the merits of the case, and we can only comment on those that we have submitted to the um, uh, through the subpoena to Sestecum. And since the notice of disallowance is not yet final, uh, we cannot yet um, discuss on the merits of the notice of disallowance. Okay, I respect that. So. Um Medyo na, na, na worry lang ako dito sa purchase of information that 
amounted to uh, 14 million for 11 days. And uh, you have uh, approved it. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, since it's not yet final, Did you, uh, um, it's have, only have this. Uh, have this. Uh, ato na lang po. Uh, hindi naman to mag, mag incriminate sa inyo, no? So, yung bang 14 million, may kasama mga equipments na binili? Um, ibang item po, Mr. Chair, ang equipments. So, yung purchase of information is all about information or data that you have gathered that, that you have approved sa COA? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, Deputy Speaker, Jay? Yeah. May, may I, I just be um, informed as to what type of information was purchased? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Again, we cannot comment on it since it forms part of the merits of the case. But um, I would like to inform the body po that the entire ND is still subject to uh, appeal. If you were going to compute 14 million divided mo sa 11, that is 1.2 million for the uh, information that uh, wanted to be uh, purchased by the office of the vice president and was approved by the COA. And that worries me a lot, no? If uh, this information entails... Uh, siguro kung mga four months yan or uh, in a one year yan, acceptable yan. But in a day, 1.2? And if purchase of information, a pwede, day? Pwede po bang isang tanong lang? Uh, yes, sir. Uh -oh. Yung po bang uh, 14 million na yun eh, na information, sa isang tao lang po ba yun? O maraming tao po yun? Uh, Mr. Chair, hindi naman po yun sa isang tao lang. Okay, just to be ilang pong tao. Kung alam lang po ninyo. Um, I don't have the information right At now. At kung magkakaano po kada tao ang binigay po para po sa purchase of information na yun. At kung saan po mga area. Mr. Chair, uh, details na po siya ng audit. So, you could, um, we could answer through if we are duly issued po. Uh, Sabina? Sabina, Sabina Dusisteko. I, I move that uh, we uh, subpoenaed the uh, Duces uh, the detailed information all those uh, documents pertaining to the purchase of information the detailed information about it is there any second to the motion second Mr. Chairman Julie seconded is there any objection hearing none the motion is carried secondly uh, Mr. Chairman this is the payment of reward uh, so payment of reward you uh, utilize 10 million the office of the vice president utilized 10 million and uh, this was spent for 11 days. So almost a million a day for the reward, payment of reward, cash. Cash. Same thing, COA. How this uh, 10 million was utilized daily by the office of the vice president? Can you kindly educate me on uh, how this happened? A, a million a day for uh, payment of cash reward. Was there any... Um, News about the uh, cash reward that was uh, given by the Office of the Vice President to any individuals, for that matter, pertaining to this uh, payment of uh, reward in cash by the Office of the Vice President. Um, Mr. Chair, again, it's again, part of the Again, merits. it will be a part of the documents of the detail. Although, Mr. Chair, we have indicated in the um, ND the reason why the rewards were um, disallowed. They were not able to satisfy us with the uh, okay, I'm sorry. documentary requirement. I'm sorry, uh, Kowa. Uh, you mean this uh, 10 million is part of the uh, disallowed by Kowa? Uh, yes, Mr. Ah, Chair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. Oh, so, sige. Okay, so disallowed to. Okay, sige. So... Have they uh, given you some uh, uh, information on, on or the detailed information about this uh, uh, payment of uh, cash reward? Um, they have submitted um, compliance uh, documents, Mr. Chair. Uh, but uh, we, we deemed it not sufficient. Yeah, we deemed it not sufficient to um, uh, answer the requirements of the joint circular. <laughs> Can we also, uh, uh, in, in that uh, case, Mr. Chairman, may I move to uh, subpoena also those uh, those, uh, those uh, documents uh, pertaining to the payment of uh, cash reward? How many safe houses have the uh, Office of the Vice President have? 
um, Mr. Chair, again, it falls part of the um, merits. However, may I just say... Hindi naman merits na, naman yun, ano, Gloria. Uh, Tinatanong ko ilan lang yung... Uh, para malaman namin. Kasi, of course, merong mga opisina ang Office of the Vice President sa buong Pilipinas. Are, are those uh, offices that are uh, being mentioned by uh, the Office of the Vice President all over the country uh, constitute also as the safe house? of the OBP. Ayan, nakalagay dito. Uh, meron kayong uh, maintenance eh, ng safe houses eh. They, do they have like 10, 18, 20, 30, 40? Mr. Chair, I do not have information right now. On Can you kindly submit to us also? Uh, I move also to, ano? Kasi Mr. Chairman, before uh, we move for that, kasi 16 million were, no, no, uh, yeah, 16 million was spend for the for 11 days for the office of the Pi vice president doon po sa mga safe houses for maintenance maintenance of the safe houses 16 million was spent for 11 days for these safe houses ilan kaya nga tinatanong ko po ilan po yung safe houses na yon at bakit gumastos tayo ng uh, 16 million for that purpose for 11 days at kung saan Yes, oo. at kung saan yung mga safe houses na yun. So, I move that we uh, subpoena also those uh, no, documents. Yung po purchase of supplies, which cost us 35 million for 11 days. Madam Gloria. Uh, Mr. Chairs, um, part of it po yung table shares that were disallowed. And some of it, um, nilang naka-indicate po as rewards, so it was also disallowed. Um, we only received uh, documentary evidence of payment, Mr. Hindi Chair. Hindi sinasagutan tanong, Gloria, eh. Ang tinatanong ko kung merong, ano, merong uh, silabit na supplier, saka contractor. Titingin ka pa sa likod. Huwag ka na tumingin sa likod. Ay, uh, wait, wait, wait. Ano bang position mo sa COA? Uh, attorney 5 po, Mr. Chair. Um, And what is your responsibility in the Commission on Audit? Um, review of the audit po. Of huh? Review of the audit. Review of the audit? Ano ginagawa Conducted. ng review of the audit? Um, tinitignan ko, Chair, yung... Oh, so, nakikita mo na. Huwag ka na tumingin sa likod. So, anong, ano, anong, anong nakita mo doon? So, uh, binigay sa iyo yung uh, 35 million na purchase ng goods for 11 days. Siyempre, nakita mo, 35 million, 11 days. Wow! Ang bigat nito. 35 million, 11 days. Sino yung nag-supply na uh, mga supply na to? Di ba? Yan ang trabaho mo eh. So, uh, yes. sino yung mga supplier? Uh, Mr. Chair, kasi... Um, sino yung mga supplier na nakita mo? Um, sa so merits na po kasi... Oh my goodness. Merits na po kasi... Ang point po ni Congressman Dan Fernandez, hindi ka ba hindi, nagtaka? Uh, yan po yung puntong gusto, yun po yung gusto niyang ipunto. Hindi po ba kayo nagtaka na nagkaroon ng purchase na worth 35 million in 11 days? Tama po ba yun? Yes, oo. 35 million. A ako naman, kahit ako, mayor ako eh. Di ba nakita ko, nag-purchase ako ng ganito, 35 million in 11 days. Magugulat ako. Ano-ano ba to? So ikaw, bilang ikaw yung parang koa, nakikita mo yan, nakita mo 35 million in 11 days. Supplies. Sino supplier nito? Di ba? Hindi, hindi, hindi maapekto ng merit nito. Tinatanong ko lang kung sino yung supplier. Now, kung binigay nila yung supply, binayaran nila at nakita natin above board. So what's the problem? Okay. But unfortunately, magugulat ka 11 days, 35 million for purchase of uh, supplies. Kaya tinatanong ko lamang, sino yung supplier? <laughs> uh, Mr. Chair, uh, hindi po ako makapagsabi ngayon ng... Alam mo, Gloria, please. nagsisinungaling ka. Don't. Please. Sabihin mo lang kung sino yung supplier. Um, sir, ang, bidib, ang sinabmit lang po talaga nila is evidence, documentary evidence of payment. Hindi na po yung... So, wala yung supplier? Opo. Ang... Are you sure? Opo. Wala doon sa sinabmit sa inyo? Yes, Mr. Chair. Because we are a uh, provision of medical and food aid. 40 million for 11 days. Again, wala rin yung supplier dito? Uh, wala din po, uh, Mr. Chair. Kaya part din po siya ng... Did you ask for did you ask the uh, office of the vice president to submit all the contractors and suppliers of all these uh, supplies and the uh, medical and food aid? 
Um, we asked them to explain po the... Yeah, but did you ask for the supplier? Um, normally, Chair, hindi po. Why? Um, we just uh, do our audit based on the requirements under the oh, sige, joint I will, circular. I will accept that. But uh, Mr. Chairman, at least I think it is imperative for us to find out the contractor and suppliers of all those uh, supplies that was uh, uh, purchased by the Office of the Vice President. Not because... Um, uh, ano tayo? Um, uh, what, what do you call this? Medyo... Oh, hindi natin pinupuntiria. Thank you for that word. Hindi natin uh, pinupuntiria yung mga supplier and contractor. What we are after, Mr. Chairman, is the amount, the huge amount that is what spent for 11 days. And this is something extraordinary. Hindi naman po siya ganong kasimple that 40 million will be spent on medical and food aid, 11 days. Tapos yung supplies, 35 million for 11 days. Purchase of information, 14 million for 11 days. And ito pa, yung lastly, yung payment of incentives on traveling uh, relative to the um, to the confidential operations. How, how, how does it work? Paano nagbabayad ng incentives or traveling? Can you kindly explain it to us? Because we spent 10 million in 11 days. Uh, Mr. Chair, they gave an explanation on this po that uh, they, those are actually rental of transport vehicles related to confidential activities po. And uh, accordingly, hindi tayo kumukuha ng mga receipt galing sa mga sa mga ano sa mga um, operators ng mga vehicles. Uh, Mr. Chair, ang requirement lang po kasi is documentary evidence of payment. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, with that, ano? Are you done? Yes, I'm done, Fernando, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos na po ba kayo? Ah, okay. Uh, am I done? Uh, okay. Uh, I, I think for the meantime, Mr. Chairman, I'll be um, uh, refraining from uh, asking more questions considering that I spend uh, almost uh, five minutes in the interpolation. So I'll be uh, yielding uh, back my time. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Pa. Uh, we will now proceed to the next interpolator, the Honorable uh, Deputy Speaker, Chase Suarez. You are recognized, sir. Mr. Chairman. Honorable Paduano, what's Mr. the pleasure? Mr. Chairman, with the indulgence of uh, uh, Deputy Speaker JJ, may I ask a clarificatory question lang po with regards to the uh, with the resource persons present in today's hearing? Yes, please continue with uh, the indulgence Chairman, of the Honorable uh, JJ Suarez. While going into this room, na monitor ko po na yung sa OBP po, eh, wala yung mga uh, persons that was mentioned and invited last hearing. Uh, particularly yung SDO po, yung Gina Acosta, saka yung Julieta Villadel Rey, which is the chief consultant. But uh, as, I have, uh, as uh, Chairman Akop mentioned, may show cause na daw to ngayon. Yung dalawa. Tama po ba? Yung dalawa mismo. Yung chief accountant at saka yung SDO. Tama. Komsek? Yes, uh, Your Honor. Um, there was a motion kanina. Five po yung inisyuhan ng Shukos orders, Your Honor. It was Attorney Zulaika, Ortonio, Sanchez, Acosta, Ms. Acosta, and Ms. Julieta Villa del Rey. Now, Mr. Chairman, just to, just to ask uh, this question. So, we cannot uh, uh, the, uh, OBP the Office of the Vice President cannot answer queries from this representation of the members of this committee as of now. Who is the highest uh, Wala uh, po kasing representative official. dito eh. Ang Wala. Office of the Vice, wala po. Wala po ba? Uh, how about uh, the spokesperson which is uh, Mr. Michael Pua? Is, is, um, as, he, uh, as kanina is, po binanggit po ni Attorney Pua na siya po ay nandito to represent DepEd. I are here to represent the Fed, not the Office of the Vice President. Mr. Chair. Please, con please uh, Attorney Poe. Yes, uh, yes, Mr. Chair, that is correct. I am here again because I was part of the list of invitees as uh, as far as the Fed is concerned. Po. How about sa OBP or not already part of the Office of the Vice President? Wala po ako sa list ng invitees. No, no, but uh, 
Hindi, yung okay. official function mo ngayon. I'm, I'm just a consultant po. Of consultant the ng... Of, of the Office of the Vice President. Consultant for what? A spokesperson po. Spokesperson Opo. ng OBP. Opo. And you cannot answer queries from this uh, committee with I'm, regards to the OBP confidential fund. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'm afraid I'm really not authorized to by the Vice President or anyone from the OBP to... But, uh, uh, but with regards to the debate, you can answer queries? Uh, you can answer queries? Uh, yes, yes, Your Honor. Okay. So, wala po, walang OBP dito. Kanina po may nagpakita, but uh, unfortunately, nawawala na po yata. Come say. Chairman, is it correct that a uh, uh, certain Monsayak is present? Is he present? Uh, Attorney Monsayak, are you present? Mr. Chairman, can we ask him Ayan to po. approach the microphone? Attorney Monsayak, do you represent the OVP? Uh, good afternoon, Your Honors, Mr. Chair. Uh, I do not represent the OVP. I'm a uh, private person already, Your Honor. You are invited in today's hearing. Uh, do you receive invitation? Did you receive invitation from this committee? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I was part of the invitation, the list of uh, people invited for the DepEd uh, query. For the DepEd na naman? Yeah, yes, Mr. Mr. Oh, Chair. Sec, is it correct that uh, Mr. Monsayak is invited for the DepEd query? But of Come course, you, yes, your Your part Honor. during the, the previous, during this uh, topic being discussed with regards to the OBP budget, you're still part of it, di ba? The time? Uh, no, Your Honor. I left OVP at uh, October 2023, and I'm not part in any way of the confidential funds uh, issue, Your Honor. Tom Sek. Anyway, Mr. Chairman. Your Honor. Your Honor, um, Attorney Ronald Monsayak, Reynold Monsayak was invited for from the DepEd roster as Assistant Secretary for Procurement, Your Honor. Just to clarify. Okay. Congressman Paduano. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh